But to Lisa, a small time business owner just outside of this home right here behind me, it was a challenge just to pay bills and it became far too often. But now she can provide a positive service for youth in our communities. I'm a single parent of three and I was living paycheck to paycheck with a cleaning job and I already had it in my heart that I wanted to work with children and get my own daycare started. Talisa Bindham used to struggle just to pay her water bill, so she reached out to the Salvation Army of Champaign County, and that's where she met the Pathways of Hope program coordinator. When I met Bobby, um, she told me about the Pathways to Hope program, and from that point on, we basically um, talked about goals and um, how to get to overcome those goals and she gave me all the resources for it. Now, Talisa is the owner of Love's Daycare. Since March, she served kids six weeks to 12 years old, and then she got her teaching license in July, providing a positive, safe space like her grandma did for others. With her bringing people in and showing them love and directing them and guiding them, um, it was just a good, rewarding feeling, so I just felt like I want to be an impact on someone's life just to see somebody grow up grown and come back around and be like you did this for me you did that for me you know you taught me this talisa teaches seven to eight kids daily nine at the most and they all learn shapes days of the week and even get dance time allowing parents who want to return to work to do so but also creating a bridge to success for the youth what she's doing is she is giving these kids a positive foundation in their community um, and in doing that those children are also going to want to make changes in other children, peer-to-peer -peer changes. Um, so she's like a grassroots that is going to do nothing but get bigger and bigger. It's like kind of like water rippling. It's just going to keep expanding and expanding. That expansion is on the horizon as Talisa was a Head Start teacher's aide for eight years. And now they want to collaborate with her daycare by observing her work and offering grant money, giving her opportunities to elevate her business. I am working towards um, transportation for the children. So I'm working on saving for a vehicle. Um, so hopefully I get blessed one day with that and can work on my credit and um, obtain ending up getting a home, so a bigger house. And then um, one day even, you know, get a facility going and go from there. Talisa's daycare already got an early Christmas gift, new toys from the Salvation Army's Women's Ministry. Just another way to help keep Talisa's business thriving. It's so wonderful to see women in particular uh, with that entrepreneurial spirit, with that drive to make it happen, to do good things in the world, and we're just so grateful for people like Talisa. The Salvation Army of Champaign County does want the community to know that the Pathway of Hope is not their only program. They serve those who are in the penal system as well as veterans in the community. So you can go to their website for more information. Now, for parents at home who need a place to take their children, Talisa has open enrollment for parents on second shifts, those working a 2 to 12 or 311 shift. And her number will be listed in this story on our website. And you heard her talk about transportation. I was told today that she bought a 2022 SUV, allowing her to provide transportation for the kids. So, congratulations to her.